Welcome back to Blake's Grill. Blake's Grill is a wonderful restaurant in the diverse, tourist-friendly city of Orlando, Florida. Blake's Grill has seen its share of bad management, but all of that changes when Melanie is promoted to general manager. Her attitude and drive, paired with a great application of management concepts, helps turn the restaurant around. Now, once disgruntled employees are model ones, and business has never been better. The target audience for our show are young adults involved in a workplace setting, or anyone who loves a good dramedy, and people who love food, because Blake's Grill features many delicious dishes. The characters in our show are Melanie, Greg, Thomas, Ashley, Will, and James. Melanie is the new manager on duty. She exemplifies leadership and has a problem-solving mindset. Greg is the CEO of Blake's Grill. Greg is moody and constantly using negative reinforcement with his employees. Thomas is an employee. He is sometimes ornery but learns from his mistakes and is able to use his technical skills to help the restaurant when necessary. Ashley is another employee of Blake's Grill. She shows up to work when scheduled but has weak work centrality. Will is another team member. He works best when he is motivated. Sometimes he sees his status as higher than it really is. James is the newest employee at Blake's Grill, but he is already demonstrating a strong work ethic. He applies emotional maturity when faced with constructive criticism and cultural barriers. In episode five, Blake's Grill has been increasingly busy. Even on weeknights, a long line forms at the host station. Greg decides that opening a to-go counter for weeknights would be a great way to make a profit and feed a number of customers that they cannot see. Greg gives this responsibility to the new general manager, Melanie. Melanie knows her decision will have a significant effect on the restaurant, so she wants to hire the right person for the position. She decides she wants to hire a people person. Ashley, a current employee, wants to apply for the new position because it offers set hours. However, she doesn't meet the requirements to be considered a top performer. Melanie posts her job specification on various employment websites and gets a few applicants for the position. She selects a candidate and after background checks and reference checks, Blake's Grill finally welcomes James to the team. James can't wait to get started at Blake's Grill. During the job analysis process, Melanie created a job specification for the takeout position she plans to fill. After creating a job posting and selecting her candidates, Melanie conducts a structured interview. James is the chosen candidate, and after he completes his background check, James will begin training for his new position. In episode six, 
The manager, Melanie, has been doing some thinking about having more control over her team. She wants to measure the performance of her employees and establish standards that they should work by. Melanie creates a handout for her staff with information such as rules, regulations, proper dress code, and qualities that they should possess when handling customers. Melanie has also included rewards in this handout. She also includes consequences for not following the newly given rules. Some of the employees who have been with Blake's Grill for a while, like Thomas and Will, are surprised when they see this handout the next time they come into work. They get angry that Melanie doesn't think they're working up to the job and that they need to be reminded. Melanie simply explains she is taking cautionary strategic control to remind all employees their core expectations of the restaurant before they start to slip. Afterwards, the employees are actually super excited and become motivated to begin receiving recognition for all of the hard work that they put in on a daily basis. In this episode, Melanie wants more control over her staff. To begin the process of gaining more control, she must first measure performance amongst her employees. Melanie receives negative feedback from seasoned employees. But in the face of criticism, Melanie simply explains that she is applying strategic control to remind all employees of expectations before they start to slip. After the reason for the new employee handbook is discussed, the team is motivated to begin working towards rewards. Looking back on everything we have done in this course can be overwhelming. It is instantly satisfying though to realize how far we have come with the concepts within our group and especially as future managers. While completing every assignment, it is easy to grasp the idea that these terms go so much further than just management. They can extend to every imaginable instance, work, pop culture, friends, etc. During the creation of the project, we were introduced to decision-making processes, skills and traits of an effective manager, managing diverse human resources, employee evaluation scales, organizational structures, and organizational change. And that is just the tip of the iceberg. We have also learned about various editing, storyboard, and document sharing websites. Now that we are familiar with these websites and resources, we can continue to use them in the future courses, as well as after graduation. This project has also underlined the importance of communication in teams. When everyone was comfortable with discussing the project, giving constructive criticism, and asking questions, the assignments became easier to complete. My contribution to the team involved coming up with the storyline and characters for our TV show. My team members all contributed to the project to make things easier and effective. The team members have been efficient in replying promptly to one another in our group chat, editing and adding more information to storylines and being available to meet with each other to work on the episodes and the overall project. I believe that our group has done a great job with achieving our goals thus far. We actually worked ahead with developing and creating the episodes. I have learned that everyone's contribution makes things flow smoother and effective. Communication certainly plays a huge part in getting things done. Our team has done a good job of achieving its goals for this project. We have had input from everyone for every assignment. Even though we have completely different schedules, we communicate as effectively as possible. I have learned that it is easy to procrastinate while doing homework. However, in a group, you feel a sense of responsibility to work more diligently because other individuals' grades partly depend on you. I believe our text and email communication methods have been very effective. After completing this project, I am very well versed in the different concepts of management, and I can't wait to continue to apply them in the future. My contribution for this group has been adding input to the episodes we created, assisting in character development, helping with editing the PowerPoints and meeting with group members to do the voiceover for the midterm presentation. The most important thing I learned would be to hear everyone's opinions and always include everyone in the decision-making process, even if you don't agree with it. Having a group text is very effective and an easy way to get in touch with everyone in the group in a timely manner. My contribution to this group has been meeting with my group members to edit PowerPoints and work on voiceovers for the midterm presentation, also crafting and input on episodes. My group members have assisted by communicating the whole process very well, creating the storyline and characters, and editing PowerPoints and adding voiceovers. I believe our group has done a great job throughout the semester and project. Each group member works with each other for the greater outcome in this class to learn, though maintaining different schedules. 
Working in a group for such a majority of a class has taught me to consider everyone's opinions on our projects, as well as effectively communicate with them. Our group text message chat is very effective for to talk with each other as well as sharing Google Docs so everyone can make edits. This project has taught me in a different way these management concepts that I look forward to using in the future. My contribution to the group has consisted of aiding in developing the story through input and constructive criticisms, recording voiceovers for the midterm presentation, and providing opinions on the future tasks that we have had in the course. Each group member has been an important asset in the developing of storylines, design challenges, overall communication, and terrific at making decisions as a group on a consistent basis. Our group has been excellent with communication, even though most of our communication is done through email and group messaging. It is difficult having group tasks in an online setting, but we have made it work successfully thus far. I think the most important thing I have learned is how communication and getting things done does not have to be stopped due to the online class format. We have so many forms of technology that allow us to work together, such as Google Docs and the ability to have group messages. I think that our group as a whole has been very well put together. My contribution to this group has been reviewing the milestones and submissions, as well as starting a template for a milestone and contributing some ideas. I feel that our team did very well in achieving its goals this semester, and we all communicated effectively through our group chat. I feel that our team could have been more proactive in some areas of the project. However, this improved as the semester progressed. Throughout this project, I have learned some lessons, such as being willing to contribute to our group's efforts as much as, much as possible by sharing ideas and resources. Our group has done a great job at working together, even with the challenges that arise on an online platform. I would say our communication has been effective, and I would change my focus on generating more ideas towards the group's assignments as a whole. I have learned that it's helpful to be proactive about checking assignments and getting an early start on all of the future assignments. Also, reading the chapters more carefully in order to understand the material better. Our team suggests starting milestones early to make sure that each group member will put forth as much effort as they can. Procrastinating is not a good idea because the milestones have the potential to be extremely time consuming. A good idea is to submit all of the work ahead of time. Sometimes this is not possible, but it is helpful if you want to manage your time effectively. We have found that assigning or volunteering sections of the project to each team member is a great way to divide the responsibility and make sure that everyone is contributing in some way. Being honest with your team members and discussing technical difficulties or other questions is a good resource to remember. It is always a good idea to consult with your team when you're unsure about a specific portion of the project. Don't forget to frequently communicate and do so as effectively as possible. This may include texts, emails, and the use of other communication apps. The more modes of communication, the easier it is to get questions answered, as well as the project completed. If necessary, meeting a person is an effective way to communicate and a pretty fun way to meet team members. If there's a misunderstanding about a milestone, it's always a good idea to discuss it with your team, but if things need a different level of expertise, just contact Dr. Steve Diazio and Jessica.